We've had a rather large delivery turn up. <laughs> Four solar panels and more framework uh, for outside. So that will take us up to 10 solar panels in total. Now, the six panels, I might have mentioned this in previous videos, the six panels we've got are made by Trina Solar. They're 380 watts per panel. So you add them up, they're 24 volt. So you add them up, 380 watts, that's 2,220, I believe. So when it came to ordering more panels, I wanted to go for the same brand. Not that brands, they're not compatible. They've all got the same things. As long as you've got the voltages right and sort of like the current, the amp side of things. So I thought, well, I'll stick with Trina Solar. Now, the only two that were available was a 400 watt panel or a 375 watt panel. From what I understand, if we add different panels to the string that we've already got, if you don't get the, the wattage exactly the same, the lower wattage panels pull down the higher wattage panels to their level. Same works with amps as well when you're wiring them in parallel, this, that and the other. So I, I thought, well, four 400 panels on that string of panels we've already got would lose 20 watts per panel because the six panels we've got would pull these new ones down to 380 watts. So you'd lose 20 watts on each panel, 80 watts. Doesn't sound a lot. The four panels that we've got, when we add them to our string of six, we'll pull the six panels down to the same wattage as these, which is 375. So we'll be losing five watts per panel, six fives, 30. We'll lose 30 watts rather than a potential 80 watts. As I say, it doesn't sound like big numbers, but as Tesco says, every little helps. We're probably not going to get on to put trying to, there's a lot of groundwork we've got to do. I've got to find out where the pipe, the we we laid that big pipe, conduit pipe with the, so the PV cables running up. We don't have to buy any more PV cable because we've got enough spare on the panels down there. So what we'll have to do is I think where we was going to put the new panels to the, as we're looking at the panels, we're going to put it on the left hand side, but we decided to put it on the right because the left side gets into the shadow first. So obviously if we put four panels to the left, they're going to be in the shadows a lot sooner than the six we've already got. So we're going to put them on the right. That's where the bloody conduit runs, isn't it? So I'm going to have to just scrape the dirt, find out where that is, because I want to wax some posts in the ground. You fill the boxes up with ballast, but I want to wax some posts in the ground like I did on the last one we did it. Fix the boxes to the posts, fill the boxes up with rocks and gravel and God knows what, and then we'll build, put the rails on, put the panels on, plug it all in, bish bash bosh, we're good to go. But um, today's little exercise, I'm gonna be over here and I'm gonna start building these boxes, hopefully. So I'll probably stick you on a time-lapse and um, we'll see what we can get up to. I've got one built. <laughs> the other one's in kit form still. Um, I'm gonna try and set the camera up and do a time-lapse. It, it's not a straightforward job when you're in a wheelchair, but um, it, I've got it up on these stands and it's going together quite nicely. Helps her in the old cordless impact gun just to tighten things up. So that's one done. I'm gonna crack on with this other one now. Of course, it's got bloody Scorch in here now, isn't it? Anyway, let's crack on. Now this framework is made by a company called GSE Ground Care, I think, or GSE something or other. They are fairly expensive for what they are. I wouldn't want to make it for that sort of price, but um, this little setup was 400 euros, but it's the construction is guaranteed. I think it's 25 or 30 years. So hopefully it will see us out. I know a lot of people make frames out of wood, but I don't want to be in five to 10 years having to take it all down and replace in wood. Just do the job once, do it properly, and that's it, hopefully. But it's the same system as the last one. We've only got, because we've only got the four panels on this one, it's only two boxes. So you've got two boxes, rails run along the top, and um, the panels clip into the, well, you, you put the panels on and you put the clips in and tighten them up. Um, we'll show you all that when we install it over there, but to say for today, I'm just building these boxes up. Get them out of the way of the garage, um, so you can get all the pallets out, because my brother's 
supposed to be coming tomorrow and he'll put his bike in the garage here. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on. I think I can do a time lapse. Let's do that now. <laughs> That's it, all done, both end boxes. Um, as I say, just a little bit fiddly. If I was able-bodied, I could get down on the floor and just do my bish bash bosh job done. It was uh, easy enough, I had it on a bit of a block there, so it's held it off the floor and I can just reach over the top. Impact gun is invaluable, you don't want to be doing it with a socket, do you? <laughs> I don't see many people using sockets and spanners on these YouTube videos anymore, it's all the old guns, isn't it? That, uh, how times progress. Anyway, that's it for this one. We've got, we've got these pieces which bolt on, we have two at the top and there's two at the bottom and then the rails bolt to those and they go between the two and then that's how we can fix the panels on. So, uh, so yeah, good job done. Um, probably be, after the weekend now when we're going to get the trailer on the tractor take all this stuff around there get the digger out just do a bit of landscaping just try and get the boxes level and say wax some posts in but uh, i'll be bringing you along for these videos anyway so that's it for today more progress on the solar system i hope you enjoyed this video please give a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you next one bye for now